Hello, my dear young friends. Communicating English, Unit 1. This is the task from page number 10 for Communicating English material, Video Module 5. Pisa, composing your bio note profile in the Video Module 4. We shall continue the same with some more details. Composing your bio note profile. And the second question, second question, write a short note about yourself to add to your profile on social media like Facebook and Twitter in about 160 words. The first question, they asked you to write about 120 words. Now you have been given opportunity to write about 160 words so that you can write some more points about yourself. Social profiles are a description of individuals' social characteristics that identify them on social media sites such as Instagram, LinkedIn, and Facebook. You need to know what do you mean social profile, in what way you need to write. So the first point, social profiles. It's not a profile for the jobs. Job seekers, they write profiles in a different way. Once you become the employee of any company, there also you write your profile, that also in a different way. Whereas social profile meant for the society, meant for the social media. They are allowed to describe briefly and you need to grab the attention of the audience. Social profiles are a description of individual social characteristics. Once they read your profile, they need to understand what type of a person are you. That is social characteristics. That identify them on social media sites such as Instagram, LinkedIn and Facebook. You know very well about Facebook, Twitter and all. Instagram, you are well worth well versed you are using uh, Instagram nowadays. LinkedIn is uh, also a social media meant for elite people, meant for learned people, professors, industries and all they use LinkedIn. You also try to become the member of LinkedIn so that you can share your thoughts. Many learned persons will go through your profile and they will share their views also about your career and all. So social profiles are a description of individual social characteristics that identify them on social media sites such as Instagram, LinkedIn and Facebook. A social profile displays information that helps to understand the type and the strength of an individual's relationship with others. The second point, once they read your profile, they will try to understand two things. First to one, what's your strength? Second one, in what way they would like to continue their relationship with you. So this is very, very important. These two things are very important. A social profile displays that will give you, give others, display. It's like a museum. A social profile displays information that helps to understand the type and the strength of an individual's relationship with others. Brevity is the key on social media. First, they will assess what type of a person. If you are so brave, if you are so bold, they will try to follow. They will go through your profile and they will share, share their thoughts and they will appreciate your thoughts also. So they see your boldness. Brevity is the key on social media. Twitter, for example, gives only 160 characters to describe. It's, they have a restriction. So within 160 characters, that means a few words you have to describe. Then only they will accept. Now the exact bio note. This is the way you need to write. I spend time in many Facebook groups and one of the things that I have noticed is that there are a lot of people who join groups and I am assuming they are 
doing it for networking purpose. This is your uh, experience of uh, visiting and uh, making use of Facebook. I would like to join and provide an introduction about me to let people know who I am and what kind of business. As already I told, they will see what type of a person are you and what kind of business are you doing. These are the two things they see. So people would like to know who I am and what kind of business I run. I am a young man of 20 years with a lot of energy. So being a 20 years old boy or a girl, no, you can share with some energy. That means no strong thoughts. I love reading books and newspapers. So last sentence, you will have to say something about your abyss. What do you do? What do you do? Your leisure time activities. So I love reading books and newspapers. And third one, same thing, write a bio note that would send along with an article, poem, short story that you would like to publish. Think that you are a poet or a story writer. You want to publish your article, your poems, your short stories in the social media or any publication company. And you need to request the publisher. Publisher is a person who publishes your article. And you need to request him to publish. So in what way you can write your uh, brief bio data, bio note. It should be very crisp. It should be very sweet, short and sweet. I am Aravi. I was born in 1985 in Krishnagiri. I have passed MA political science. I am one of the supporters of right to education. I request you to publish my article in your publication. So very few sentences. First you start with your name. I am Aravi. I was born in 1985 in Krishnagiri. So when did you born and then place of birth? I have passed MA political science. Simply say your uh, educational qualification. I am one of the supporters of right to education. So RTE, we are going to see now. I request you to publish my article in your publication, in your publication company. Now exact article. You need to give a catchy title. Right to education is a reality. It should catch the viewers, readers. Such a way you have to give your title. So right to education is a reality. First April 2010 was a historical day. On the day, the rights of children to free and compulsory education becomes a reality and the RTE Act was passed in 2010. A new act was passed named RTE, Right to Education Act. So people had been talking about right to education, but it had happened only in 1st April 2010. So you have to begin with a very catchy sentence so that you can grab the readers. 1st April. 2010 was a historical day. On the day, the rights of children to free and compulsory education becomes a reality. And the RTE Act was passed. The Act makes it obligatory on the states to guarantee right to education. So it must be, we should compel the students to study in a school. And we will have to provide free education. That is the main theme of the aim of this act. Act. The act makes it obligatory. It's an obligation. It's a favor on the states to guarantee right to education. We need to compel them, not in a compel them. They allow to do their education in the schools. So government should provide opportunity. It also ensures compulsory admission and the completion of elementary education for every child of 6 to 14 years. 
If at all they belong to age group of 6 to 14, they should be admitted in the schools. They should continue and complete their education till they attain 14 years. This is a RTE. And we shall see teacher people ratio. What's the ratio? How many students would be there in the classroom? How many teachers should handle the class? The act provides that teacher people ratio in primary schools should be 1 is to 30. That means 30 students, 1 teacher. In upper primary, it should be 1 is to 35. For standards 1 to 3, 1 is to 30. For upper primary, 4th and 5th standard, there should be one teacher for 35 students. It also ensures one room for class teacher and teacher subject wise teachers. There should be subject with teachers. Not only one teacher will be there in some schools, she or he will handle all the five subjects. That should not be. If at all the RTE says there must be teacher from all the subjects. Teacher is also provision for toilets and drinking water, a library and a playground built within three years. So we need to provide all the facilities, especially drinking water, toilets, library, playground facility. We need to build and provide within three years. These are the facilities we should provide that the RTE says. One fourth seats for the poor in private schools. If they have 100 students in the school, 25% of the students should belong to poor or at this category, RTE category. They should be given free education in the private schools. That's a compulsory. So one fourth seats, that means 25% seats for the poor in private schools. Poor, it means underprivileged children. Underprivileged children, poor. The Act provides that one of the fourth of the seats should be reserved for the poor children. Government will advertise in the newspapers, social media, television and all media. And the parents can go through, they can listen, they can approach the schools. There are websites, there are some forums, they will attend all this procedure. The school can hire para teachers in case of shortage of teachers. Teachers regular or sometime if they are running, they are running a shortage of teachers, they can hire part-time teachers or para teachers, they say. If the RTE Act is implemented successfully, it will ensure all children complete their elementary education policy by 2020. So now 2020 at this stage, we would have uh, entered, assured 100%. Just we will see how far, whether we achieved or not. That's about the government. And this is the way you need to write your, your bio note. Do well, all the best.